It is really wonderful to have this opportunity um, to be with you in this way. Thank you, Esther. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Karen, Mike, Barbara, Jeannie. All you guys are so kind and wonderful to me, and I just want you to know I appreciate you all. And, of course, you don't deserve it at all. Oh. <laughs> I'm so are, worthy when people deserving. Are, when people are nice to you, it's, it's because that's your point of attraction, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Exactly. Yes. And um, many, many people are nice to me, yes. so I appreciate that yes. so much, including you. <laughs> Abraham, um, we had our first conversation back in 2006, and many more since then. I told you in 2007, and anyone who would listen... That in 2008, I was going to procreate. That year came and went, and no baby. Well, I you missed your window. <laughs> I talk, about a, talk about a stale desire. <laughs> Tell us more. Get really I specific. I got a lot more for you. I created a new mantra for the following year, and that was, I'm going to be fine because my baby's coming in 2009. And 2009 came and went, and no baby. So in 2010. Let's do it again in 2010. So no, in two, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. But in 2010, my new saying was, where the hell is my babies? Okay. <laughs> my husband and I decided to go undergo fertility treatments and three attempts did not bring forth a child. It did, did, however, bring forth a great deal of stress, anxiety, and doubts. Then I decided to do the only thing I was advised to do by my wise and wonderful teachers, Abraham. And I decided to do the only thing that felt right to me, and that was to get happy. I decided without having to have to know when, without caring when or even if my children were coming or not, that I was going to appreciate my life and live happily just because it feels so good. So this past Halloween, I had a strong desire to have fun and experience Halloween fully. I wanted to dress up as a sexy gypsy woman and go to a Halloween party with my husband, Ryan. And yes, at 38, I wanted to relive my childhood and go trick-or-treating with my friend Darnella's daughter, because I, I just love the thought of getting free candy. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Anyway, I did all those things and a lot more. And because I decided to simply just get happy, I'm sitting before you full of all. candy. <laughs> I'm sitting before you all four months pregnant with my... <laughs> with, with who, who knew it was the candy? I know, who knew? right? With my first child, Jackson David Gibson, due in July of this year. I wanted to say to you, Abraham, thank you. <laughs> thank you for your loving guidance throughout my life's journey, especially towards motherhood. <laughs> You've given me the best gifts I could ever receive, and that's the gift of understanding how the universe works and the gift of trusting my own inner guidance system. All right, and, now. And that, much, so much more? more, I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you so much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I, I so did not want to cry, but I'm an emotional, hormonal, crying. Oh, sure, blame it walking. on the hormones. Yeah, yeah, I do. I blame it on the hormones. But thank you so much. But well, we want to talk with you about something that's uh, exhilarating and important and will be really good for right where you're at and good for everyone else to hear too because you sort of dragged them all through this just yeah, now. I and did. So <laughs> In other words, you, you could have just cut right to it. No, and we you know me. Abraham, we could have just you, all celebrated. We didn't have to go down, though. Abraham, you know me. <laughs> you know Benita. <laughs> well, the reason that we want to chew on this just a little bit, okay. and, and certainly it is a wonderful thing that is unfolding here. But we are talking about the specifics of the struggle. And how the specifics of the struggle were active long enough that it sort of slowed things down. 2008, 2009, 2010, in other words, it sort of slows down the manifestation. And then even after the manifestation occurs, there is a tendency to keep explaining the struggle. 
people ask us from time to time, what's the difference? Because when someone says, I'm grateful, we always say, that's nice. And, and then we talk to them about what appreciation is. And the difference between gratitude and appreciation, it's a very big vibrational difference. Yeah. And the difference is that in gratitude, there's a keen awareness of where I've come from. Mm which is still active in your vibration and it serves as a sort of point of resistance and where appreciation there's no resistance in it's just pure flowing yeah. at the last gathering or the last gathering or so someone asked the question about crying tears flowing and we said in every case when tears flow it is a releasing of resistance mm -hmm. it's a releasing of resistance and from what you know of us and you know a lot you've been yeah. listening to us for a while nothing is more important than releasing resistance and so as you tell this story and release resistance and people are wanting to know well what's the difference between tears of joy and tears of pain tears of sorrow <laughs> tears and we say there's a difference if tears of appreciation and tears of gratitude in that there are no tears in appreciation there are still tears in gratitude because it's still resistance that you are overcoming right, right. so now you are here now you've come to this place where it's time for you to to no longer beat the drum of how much time and struggle it was from from where you've come but celebrating where you are on your way to yeah. the more that is coming in other words yeah. it really is time yeah. to to let that but there are so many people and you've hit right on it this is something that so many people are wanting to be really good creators but they're still standing in the struggling stack of people and when you're standing in the str struggling stack of people pointing out the adversities that you have overcome makes you shine in that stack right, right. but it keeps you out of the other pile right. altogether you yeah. see and so and, and we're not just saying this to you we're talking and there, there are so many people who have really overcome adversities that don't let themselves move out of completely right. out of the vibration of adversity right. because it's still entertaining right 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 to explain the adversity and and here's the bottom line it makes the people who are still standing in the struggling pile willing to put up with your success right right if you tell them how long you've suffered yeah. before you triumph you yeah, say and we say it still slows you way way down you want to stop it right right all of you in other words right. it still slows you way way down right. it slows yeah. you way way down but but what it really speaks to is that so many people are appealing almost a hundred percent to the way they are perceived by others mm. so what they think of me really matters a lot to me Abraham so I've got to soften what they think and so since I'm thriving in every possible way and look at them they're not happy they're not <laughs> happy that I'm thriving I'm making them jealous and we say you may be inspiring them to understanding what's possible no they don't like me anymore they're not writing me letters we say good they're not coming to my parties we say not a problem in other words but but when you want to appeal to them when you want to appease them then you got to be enough like them that you keep the connection going and when you're keeping that connection going you're breaking this connection right, right. Like really strong yeah. yeah so we think it is a wonderful thing that is happening with you and it is uh, you deserve a uh, strong uh, voice of appreciation for your willingness to keep the faith for your willingness to keep your desire alive for your willingness that even though it got a little stale you kept throwing more jeeps in the pile mm -hmm. <laughs> that's funny <laughs> and and now it's time to just revel to just revel right. in the well-being that you've got and right. this is the thing that we'd like to say to all of you if any of you are experiencing the at right now experiencing the absence of anything in other words five months ago she was still experiencing the absence of this <coughs> so if any of you are still experiencing the absence of something that you want you have to let go of your awareness that it's absent yeah that that you just you you ha and so it's an interesting thing easy for us to say Abraham how do I not notice that something that I really really want is missing 
and we say by getting back to the essence of why you want it which isn't missing mm. in other words you still don't have a baby you have a well you have a baby right <laughs> but you're, you're you're still not uh, going trick-or-treating yet not quite yet in other words there's still more manifestation mm. that is oh, yeah. that is coming yeah. and yet you're joyful so why not understand that your vortex is pregnant with everything that you want Ooh. it is it is like your that. vortex is pregnant right now with everything that you want it wow. it is <laughs> you want to see the ultrasound <laughs> yeah. it is it's pregnant with everything that you want you see wow. but there is a gestation period yeah. and during that like gestation that. period that's the time that you come into alignment with it that's the time that you feel appreciation for it appreciation in advance is what makes yeah. things come to you yeah. and appreciation in advance is what brings the manifestation but what else does it bring happiness now yes. happiness now yes. happiness now yes. happiness now yes really good wow you are brilliant god i love you so there's just no words very quickly god that was really good wow i love we that. agree yeah yeah very quickly my my brother frank transitioned back in 2003 and we have developed a relationship be you know uh, beyond this earthy earthly limitations and um there are no earthly limitations. There's right, just right. out of the vortex limitations. Right. But we've developed a relationship. Um, I want my children to experience who my brother is. Can oh, you they guide, will. Can you guide me to how I can do they're that? Gonna, or, they're going to be born full of him. I have a feeling that I have. A, I have that feeling very strongly. Yeah. Because he's so funny, and I never yeah. talk about him in the was. That doesn't even feel right, because he still is. We all are you know, eternal. Well, now, so. this is an interesting thing that you bring up, because you're saying to us that I had a manifested brother. Right. Who dematerialized. Okay. <laughs> but he still is. And yet, I have desires that aren't yet manifested that, that I feel lack about. And we say, if you can reconstitute mm. your dead brother... Mm. You ought to be able to find vibrational alignment with anything, anything. that's not yet come into full Ooh. fruition, yes? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Everything. It's, it's all yeah. about focus, isn't it? It is. Yes. Mo most everybody isn't getting that to the depth that you are, but right. you did. Thank you. Yes, I indeed. love you so much. Thank you. All of you. Thank you. Second row, second row. We'll begin this briefly. <laughs>